it's Faye. Today I want to introduce to you guys my lover, my caregiver, my de-stressor, Believe. Today's video is in partnership with Believe and I am so happy to have been working with them for a couple of months now because I truly respect how transparent they are as a brand, especially knowing what's in and not in our products. In today's saturated skincare world, we don't really know and see everything that goes into what we're putting on our face and that can be very <laughs> harmful long term. I'm not proud but I've been there. Thank you again to Believe and thank you because without your support, I wouldn't be able to work with a dream brand of mine. I love my Linda. Skincare, skincare. You comfy girl. You need to hear this from a girl who's gone through it all with her skin. By the way, say hi to my little pimple. I named him Steve. Back when I had cystic acne, I blamed it on my oily skin. So I actually went on this acne boot camp program. I don't think I ever shared this because I was too ashamed. It literally dried out my skin into flakes. The funny part, I actually thought this was working for me for a couple of months. So I kept up with it for like six months. Mm. What I failed to realize within those six months was how I was destroying the integrity of my skin. I didn't know that the root of my excess oily skin, enough to like fry a sunny side up, was because I was lacking so much hydration. And I would never want to hydrate my face because it added to my oils, so I thought. So when I finally figured it out with error and trial for the longest time, I made hydration a priority. Don't mix it up with- uh, I don't want to moisturize my skin because I'm so oily. You're greasy because you're dehydrated. And then it kept producing excess amount of sebum, which then caused me to break out more and irritate my acne, my hormonal cystic bumps, which hurt. And then I would not want to add any moisture on top of that because I was oily. You see the cycle here? If I like just trace back, it's because your skin is craving hydration. Hydration is key in skincare. And that's why I'm gonna be sharing Belief's line of products that are meant and catered towards hydration for people who are like me and now still trying to revive my skin from all those months of um, flaking. Literally that acne boot camp, I had to lather on drying lotion as my last step. I woke up feeling like I couldn't even smile because my skin was cracking. The belief originated in Korea with a blend of apothecary, herbal traditions, and skin science for the utmost care and skin efficiency. They know what they're talking about when it comes to hydration and skincare and I feel like they're the most authorized. It's trusty, I promise you. So I'm going to share these hero products in the order of which I would use them normally and I hope you guys learn something or realize what you're missing in your skin care routine. Take off the day. Don't let your skin sit in makeup, the air pollution, the debris, the bacteria on your hands when you were picking on your zit. I know you do that. I didn't mean to come at you sideways, but we all do it. This is the Aqua Balm Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This eats up the makeup and the trash on your face by transforming from a balm to cream to oil. All traces of unnecessary visitors will be vanished. No excuses. I love the ladies' mantles infused in this product because of the antioxidants and the pore minimizing targets. Along with the marshmallow root, this is what makes the cleansing balm hydrating and that protection of moisturized skin. There's not much of a scent to this because it is fragrant free, but you do have a sense of freshness and it just smells like a makeup cleansing balm. It's such a soft texture that literally melts away as you gently rub and the best part, it's not messy. I have literally retired all of my cleansing balms and been reaching for this one only. This is my second jar. You know what the cool thing about this is? You don't have to double cleanse after using this. If you rinse your face thoroughly after using this, you're ready for skincare. But me being the OCD I am with skincare, I go straight ahead and use my Aqua Balm Jelly Cleanser. I love this thing. I feel like it's different from other cleansers I've been using because of the texture, so it kind of stands out to me when I think of all the cleansers I've used over these years of skincare. It's a jelly to foam formula. I love taking my time and warming it up by lathering it in my hand so it forms into a foam and then I just puff it around my face. The jelly is this clear substance and then you add it with water, you just create this very soft, silky lather. It goes a long way when you use just a little product and that's the best thing about it. You can save a ton with this. It's not harsh, it doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped or red because it's so gentle. And when you have trouble skin, the last thing you want is a cleanser that's going to literally dry you out. This is made with amino acids and glycerin-based cleaning agents. So we know it's gonna keep our skin moist when it's cleaning and not add any oil or clogging to our pores. The texture is very lightweight and it has a very, I just, 
licked you. Did I lick you? Sorry. Um, it has a very fresh citrus scent to it. You can catch me by my sink when I wash my face. <laughs> Moving on to the Aqua Balm Hydrating Toner. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite products. This is where the glow happens. Glowy skin is always healthy skin. This toner actually has a satin finish, which makes your skin appear way smoother. I like to dab a ton onto a cotton pad, wipe my face using upward strokes and outward strokes, and then I just kind of set the cotton pad on my nose because my pores. I have no control in life, so when I do that, I feel like I have a little control. I absolutely adore that this toner contains sodium hyaluronic. This highlighted ingredient in particular helps restoration of our skin and it revitalizes and smooths our texture. I never really understood why people use toners until I realized that it's so important to get your skin back to where it needs to be before you layer on heavier and thicker creams and serums or whatever it is. It's almost like preparing your pores to sink in and soak in all those skincare products so it'll be the most effective and the most efficient. You don't do your skincare just to have it sit on your skin. You want it to absorb. For me, if you're gonna apply skincare, then make sure your skin is actually getting cared for. Tong, 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 tong. This toner does feel like a heavier and thicker liquid, but it doesn't have trouble dispersing on your skin at all, nor does it have problem like absorbing in when you're tapping it in. Because of the active ingredients, it actively soaks into your skin. Okay, if you guys have been watching my skincare videos for a long time now, you guys know that I always preach about applying your eye cream before any of your other moisturizers and cream. This is Belief's Moisturizing Eye Eye balm and you should always apply this right after toner in my opinion because the skin around our eyes and under our eyes are very specific and unique. Obviously it's different from the rest of our skin. This has a 26 hour burst all around the clock. I love to put this in all the creasing lines so under my eye, my my smile lines and my necklines. I even wear this under makeup during my AM skincare routine. And I know that some of you understand the frustration when it comes to finding a good eye cream under makeup because most of them roll off kind of like lint. But this one is so moisturizing. You don't have that problem. It's amazing under makeup. No creasing, super moist, fine lines look airbrushed. The moisturizing balm is definitely one of my top picks out of all the leaf products. It is very true to my heart. This contains an herb called Pennywort, and if you guys don't know, recently there was like an outbreak of a new skincare ingredient to help anti-aging, and that was Pennywort. However, this has been around for centuries. Pennywort is such a beneficial ingredient in skincare, it actually boosts elasticity. Added with the comfrey leaf element, this aids irritated skin with the help of rapid skin cell growth and skin renewal. Okay, as nerdy as this sounds, as you can imagine, this is why I get so extremely excited talking about skincare products that are transparent with what they put into their products. <sighs> it doesn't have a strong scent to it and it has such a nice creamy texture. As soon as it touches your skin, it's almost like it goes into activation mode and it goes clear. It doesn't even take a second swipe veins with the wind. I just love how the texture feels so concentrated. Girl! Okay, so now moving on to the True Cream Aqua Balm Aloe Vera. As you probably already guessed, Aloe Vera. Isn't she a beauty? I swear Aloe Vera walks into the room and we're just all like drooling. I am so overwhelmed with joy that Believe took it upon themselves to add Aloe Vera into a moisturizer. Guys, you don't understand how exciting this is. This is a lightweight gel cream and you guys know that Belief is known to be one of the number one lines to have gel moisturizers. Look at this! So holy. Like, if I can eat this, I would. The worst feeling of having sensitive, troubled skin is honestly having to layer on thick, suffocating moisturizers. Yuck, I hate that feeling. I don't know if it's just me, but when I go to bed with something so thick on my face, I feel like I can't breathe, gasping for air. I know I'm dramatic, but ugh, I don't like it. Like, that is one of my biggest pet peeves. This is definitely one reason why I switched over to gel moisturizers. Your skin's gonna be so vibrant and energized. Aloe vera is gonna keep your skin supple and flexible. It has mucopolysaccharides, which is a chain that carries hydrating properties. There are so many skin benefits of aloe vera, and I'm sure you guys already know, so I'm gonna save you guys some time and not geek out on it. With all the targeting ingredients, I feel like this will work best and most on acne prone skin, especially if you need a little bit of a cooling sensation. The aloe vera blend is so comforting and it has such a light gel like consistency, so you won't find any irritation or just anything that's gonna make you feel. Stuffy. I don't know what it is, but the texture of this Aqua Balm Aloe Vera is so 
bouncy just the most bouncy thing you've ever seen in your life with that kind of texture it's gonna absorb so deep when you're like patting it on it's like such a mobile moisturizer it's gonna go all the way in the main products I have left to talk about fall under the moisturizing category as well so I'm gonna talk about them to give you guys options to see which one is for you you tell me this is the true cream aqua bomb it is a drink of fresh yummy water for your dual dry skin I recommend this moisturizer for people who really need a pick-me-up if you go to bed and wake up feeling crusty and just tight skin girl I'm gonna walk myself to you and bring you a moisturizer like one, one two, two. This one caters toward dullness and dryness. So my oldest sister-in-law has super dry skin and she's in her mid-40s. Yes. Girl, I gave her a tub of this and after she used it for a week, she literally called me and told me to stock three more of these for her. And she wasn't even halfway done with hers because she's so afraid that it's gonna go out of stock. No, but seriously, she's in her mid-40s. She always complains to me about her dual skin. And I know that some people are like, what do you mean by dual skin? It's just skin that doesn't look radiant and youthful. There's serum my three in here that retains water and again the glycerin that helps moderate your moisture levels revive your skin I was shocked too when I started using this because I thought okay I have oily skin this kind of caters towards more like dry skin but no if you use it in moderation the consistency absorbs quickly and locks in orderly so there's no need to fear I feel like all the belief products smell the exact same so there's no point in me telling you about the scent and the texture of course Similar to the aloe vera one, it's just so bouncy and diversifies so much surface area when you spread it out. Like, a little goes a long way. Okay, I low-key feel guilty though because the Aqua Balm is definitely one of my favorite moisturizers out of all the Hero products. For about a month now, I transitioned over to the Moisturizing Balm. The True Cream Moisturizing Balm is definitely necessary right now because, again, I mentioned this before, we are in a colder season. I live in Michigan. It is dry and windy here. All the time this is a cream formula versus the gel formula so as you can imagine it is a bit heavier even though it looks heavy you see that it's so cushiony and bouncy it doesn't lose that texture I control as much as I need as I go because you guys know how sensitive I get about how much cream I use on my face but there's seriously nothing to worry about this cream in particularly I love focusing it around the corners of my mouth because your girl get crusty there you would totally know what I'm talking about if you sleep in cold weather again it highlights comfrey leaf and back then historically this herb was actually used to cure dry hands so you can imagine how powerful it is when it's on your face and your crusty lips or like around your crusty lips i'm at the corners all right i like to see the moisture balm kind of like the aqua balm except on drugs <laughs> it's a little bit more intense okay last but not least this is the Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask. Holy crap, if I'm honest, I've only been using this just this week. I'm telling you, I've tried almost all of these products since late summer and this is the newest addition to my collection. You should use a sleeping mask as the last step of your skincare routine. For me, my winter skincare routine. I think of it as it's something working on my skin overnight when I'm sound asleep, when I don't have insomnia, but you know. If I'm up, at least this is up with me. <laughs> Instead of thinking it as just a moisturizer that shields your skin, think of it as if it's an action, an active protector. I look you want to rub this on the ends of my elbows too because I don't have crusty elbows I'm just saying it's reviving intensifying replenishing fighting against your environment reanimating your skin so that in the morning you feel reinvigorated you can see the strength and energy your skin restores overnight with the supple glow you get in the morning funny thing is I've noticed this more on my neck and my crusty outer ears ear corners <laughs> and honestly for me I want the most intense moisture for my neck because these lines here are tough and we're gonna see aging here and here first so I'm gonna keep it up and use the sleeping mask on my neck even if some nights I choose not to use it on my face I will try to make it a routine to put it on my neck if you want something light go for one of the gel moisturizers if you want something intermediate the cream and if you want something intense go for the sleeping mask it just all depends on you your preference and your skin type so yeah guys i know that this was a lot of information so i'm gonna leave the links down below for you guys hydration is really the umbrella of all skincare so i hope you guys see the importance of caring for your skin properly prioritize your skin's health as much as your well-being start when you can be consistent and trust me your skin's gonna thank you when you're older <laughs> <laughs> Again, links are hooked down below, so get yourself an early Christmas gift. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye!